As we mentioned yesterday on First Edition, the world's first plant-based coronavirus vaccine is showing positive results. Pharmaceutical companies Medicago and GlaxoSmithKline studied 24,000 adults across six countries and found the overall efficacy rate of the vaccine candidate was 71% rising to 75.3%. The study used Medicago's plant-based vaccine in combination with GSK's pandemic adjuvant. It's an ingredient that works to boost the immune response and efficacy of other vaccines. What does it all mean? Dr. Salim Sarani joins us live to discuss more. Dr. Sarani, when I sent this story to you, you were kind of like, that's interesting. What were you able to determine? And a plant-based vaccine sounds kind of, it just sounds interesting and also awkward to me. Good morning, John Thomas. Glad to be here. Uh, the reason is, uh, I, I say it's interesting because, you know, it's been 20 years, Medicago has been working on different type of plant-based uh, product to booster the immunity. And a plant-based product has been very near and dear to a lot of the folks who are vegan or vegetarian, and they don't want uh, anything or a genetic component. But what it does is that uh, they does some uh, genetic medical plant, like even they can take a potato or a carrot, and then they try to form a uh, protein, which is like an antigen. And that antigen kind of uh, looks like a viral antigen. And when it's given to the body, the body perceives it's a virus, and then it starts forming antibody. So in other words, what it does is it's try to form a shell or a core, look, which looks like virus, but it does not have any genetic product inside. It's just a plant. So that, you know, when the core is given to the patient uh, uh, or uh, person's body, it perceives, oh, that's a virus which is attacking, and then they form the antibody. So I think it's a very good um, uh, step forward. We saw the messenger RNA-based technology coming in. And uh, second thing is this is now plant-based. So this is going to open up a long uh, era of the products and uh, vaccines which can come out that way. The advantage is that you know it, it's plant-based, so it doesn't cause too much of side effect. It can be stored in a normal temperature, uh, and that can be a very, very helpful, especially in reaching out to the rural areas or developing countries where uh, core chain technology is not that good, and then they, they can be stored with a much longer duration. And it can be produced in, uh, in, in larger amounts at a cheaper cost. Uh, the next question, the way I'm going to phrase it, I don't want to be misleading. Um, is this a safer alternative to other vaccines? Not saying those vaccines aren't safe, but I think you mentioned something about some of the side effects are reduced with uh, said plant-based vaccines. That is something, you know, we need to see on the preliminary, what we saw in the press release. They did not mention anything uh, red flag. It means that the side effects were really very minimal. And on the other hand, uh, I, I think, you know, we just need to see more data. But again, it's an exciting technology. It's an exciting breakthrough. And it's just a giant step uh, uh, forward in the armamentarium which we have it. So I think we know that those can be used for boosting immunity. So not only for vaccine, it can be used for patient with immunocompromised status. And we know that there are a lot of grandmas who have always told us, if you're ill, you take this. If you're sick, you take this. And now you're trying to uh, get those type of proteins uh, uh, build up and produce in a more uh, augmented and large amount of fashion. And that can be a game changer for a lot of the conditions uh, and illnesses. And it's important to note that they did say this vaccine is given in two doses, uh, 21 days apart. Uh, Dr. Sarani, we do appreciate your time on this Thursday. And if you have a question, you're sitting at home wondering, hey, what am I doing with my time? It can be best be used by contacting Dr. Sarani. Send us a text at 361-855-6397. All your vaccine and pandemic questions.